Welcome back to the channel and today we're playing Roboco once again the game where you can build crazy weird robots to accomplish tasks and annoy the humans while we're doing it now currently we have an issue here there's this uh, pre-built hand with a finger that is trying to play this piano key and unfortunately the finger just doesn't reach the piano key so whatever are we supposed to do so this is kind of a new tutorial level that is supposed to teach me how to uh, change motor settings with angles and stuff so we're gonna enter build mode and we are going to fix this servo motor so currently we have angle limits so if i put this side to uh, well let's just let's just overdo it at least then we know it's gonna work right there we go oh I, <laughs> look at everybody clapping at me silly humans oh oh it actually it actually plays the, a note all right well we fixed that one we completed that mission so in this video i intend to work my way towards doing this mission which is essentially i've got to build a roomba i have to become the ultimate robo vac and quietly clean the bedroom to a sparkling shine but first i'm gonna do a little bit of a refresher here with some of these tutorials because they're kind of interesting to see like the pre-made things and how we can manipulate them ah excuse me uh, hi press w to drive the purple robot forward okay Press E to open the purple door. Okay. Press 2 to switch to the transmitter. What? For the blue robot? Okay. Press W. What? Press E to open the blue. What? The door spins in the wrong direction, so the orange robot can't get out. This is a robot within a robot within a robot? This is crazy. So we have three, di four different sets of controls here. So the blue bot has an issue with the open door function so this spinner motor you can see it's spinning it in the opposite direction so if i have it spin forward i think i should have fixed it right so now we go forward there we go we open the door okay so now if you look down on the bottom left over here when i press no these are the numbers for the different transmitters when i press number two it goes to the blue bot so now i can control the blue bot there we go. And then when I press E, that door opens. And then when I gotta press zero, oh, the orange bot. Orange bot forward is I, apparently. There we go. <laughs> this is such a cute little challenge. <laughs> okay. Now I gotta give the human a high five. So I think number nine switches. Okay. Raise the hand. Ah! Oh, that scared me. Okay, that's not a high five. That's just kind of raising your hand like I... I have a question. All right, cool. The good thing about this is we're getting these bits as well. Every time we complete one of these, we get one bit. So if I complete all these tutorials, I'll actually unlock this uh, this next section down here, which gives me telescoping pistons and a couple of uh, other challenges. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, ooh. what? These are legitimate bowling. There's bowling pins. It made the sound and everything. Yeah, see, this is why I'm doing the tutorials. I never even thought you could do this in this game. You can make an actual bowling alley. All right, what's the issue here? Observe the robot's behavior. Hmm. What's wrong with this one? Why doesn't it work? All right, so obviously these pistons need to extend, right? Look for what's wrong with the joints it said. Okay, so it's focusing on joint stuff. Whoa, we have a little guide here. There's some complicated things go. Okay, I see the problem. By the looks of it, you see these panels are attached to these pistons, but this panel is also attached to this wall. Delete to disconnect. There we go. Delete to disconnect. That one's disconnected. Oh, it's connected over here. So that was really easy, but that tells us how that uh, whole panel adjacent surfaces attaching to each other and detaching work. That's pretty cool. I think this is one of the few games that gives that kind of option, that kind of freedom of intentionally connecting and disconnecting um, adjacent panels. I mean, Scrap Mechanic has the weld tool, but you cannot unweld. You have to delete blocks in order to unweld. Oh, look at this. Press WASD to drive the robot. Uh, so we put the key. What? How does that work? How does it block like that? That's so cool. Press J or L to rotate. It's not working. Oh, this uses gears. Okay. Well, clearly something's wrong with these. Okay, so I haven't used gears in this game, really. Uh, what is wrong with this joint? All right, rod joints. This is probably the important part. Oh, these are fixed rod joints. We want rotate. Oh, Q and E, change joint. There we go. So now that can rotate. That can rotate. I think I want that fixed. Um, and then... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? It, is this, I think this is a bearing. I think this is just a free bearing, so I think we're good there. All right, I think that should be good then. So now when I press J... 
Oh, wait. No, 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 no. This one actually, my bad. This one needs to be fixed. Yes, yes, yes. This one needs to be fixed because that's the one that the power is coming from. So here we go. That one's fixed. And then now, there we go. That's so cool. All right, that was actually a little bit more complicated for me just because I've never used those before. And uh, the, doing the different joint settings was also kind of interesting. So we do that. There we go, we've unlocked it. Now I'm really curious how they built that unlocking system. I don't know if that's something that we can build like that or if that was just like programmed into this challenge specifically that we can't do the same thing. All right, enter live mode to test this robot. Press K to lower the claw. Press I to raise the claw. Okay, press U to open the claw. And WASD to move the claw's position. Oh, I can't move the claw's position. Oh, here we go, these are the sliding rods. That's probably why. Look for what's wrong with the joints and try to fix it. So these rods probably need, okay. Okay, hold on, what's going on here? Yeah, these definitely need to change towards sliding. Not rotating though, only sliding. If we do slide and rotate, this claw would be like uh, moving all over the place. Oh, here it is, it's over on this side. This one needs to be slide. There we go, <laughs> so now it should be fixed. Look at that, so how, how are these actually moving though? Like, I'm curious what is actually the mechanism that is causing this movement. Maybe, can I go back in the build mode? I can't see the individual pieces, unfortunately. This piece must be a particular, like it looks like it's a particular kind of mechanical joint, yeah. All right, now what do I gotta do? Do I gotta just grab one of these? All right, there we go, let this down, grab it, uh, bring it up, and drop it. Yay, that's a, that's the most legit claw machine I've seen in one of these games, that's pretty cool. Oh, we got golf. That hole is, wait, is that, that's not the hole, is it? What is that little, oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Golf Man. Oh no, what's wrong? Observe the robot's behavior. An error has appeared saying a port is not assigned. Check the microcontroller settings to fix it. Okay. I don't know what that means. Microcontroller one. What am I looking at? Script preview? I don't know any of this. This is way over my head. Okay, so. I need to lower the arms, and then I need the thing to swing. I see numbers over here. There's zero, two, and three. Where's one? I don't see a number one anywhere. Oh, there isn't. Port zero, port two. Okay, port two is wrist. Open script folder? Oh, I think I see the problem. Remember how I said that there's nothing in port one? I think port one has to be the shoulders. There we go. Using context clues, if shoulder is port one, the fact that there's a number one next to these, I think it's already programmed in there. But let's see what happens now. Let me just see what happens. All right, I am a, uh, I'm a programmer. You ever need me to send ships to space, NASA? You can contact me. I put a ball in all hole. All right, so now this is unlocked, but I'm more interested in this one right here. I wanna make a Roomba, so let's make a Roomba. All right, there's a sleepy human. We gotta try to not wake the sleepy human, or we could try to wake the sleepy human. There's, you can see there's little dust clumps all over the place, actually. So one of the challenges is to not move this furniture too much, and I see dust clumps underneath the furniture, so that's, that's gonna be interesting. All right, now I actually gotta build something. Here we go, heavy cylinder smooth. If I do that and then I rotate it like uh, that. Oh no, I can only transform it lengthwise. See, the wedge can be transformed in all directions because wedges are just superior like that. Unfortunately, the cylinders do not have that amount of freedom. All right, there we go. It's not the roundest Roomba, but it's, it's roundish. Bristle duster large for cleaning messes. All right, so I should be able to add a DC motor there and a DC motor there. And then I think if I just put rods into these motors, it'll spin the rods. And then I add these dusters like that. All right, does this work? Oh, why is it on? Why is it on right now? I don't think it should be on. Oh yeah, do not start on. This is not, no. Now when I press the button, then they turn on. Okay, all right, we're off to a good start. All right, so now functionally, I think we have the basics of the Roomba. Does this actually work over here? Oh, oh wow, that's super easy actually. Are we able to fit underneath a chair? I made myself kind of uh, a little bit too wide, didn't I? That works though. 
That totally works. Okay, this is good. All right, so now I can group these into one. So this whole motor system with the bristles is now one part. So now what I can do is select everything. I, then I can deselect those, deselect the wheels because they're all grouped together too. So I selected everything except for the mechanical parts and now I can just copy and paste that up. And the reason I wanted to do that is because now I can fill in all of the gaps. All right, what about some cosmetic pieces? Oh, I can't put eyes on the sides of the wedges. Oh man, well, I guess I can do something like this. There we go, that looks a little weird, but you get the point. <laughs> oh my goodness, the eyes are actually googly eyes too. I thought I was gonna look all mad and intimidating, but now I just look dumb. I have a really strange looking Roomba, but it's got the bristles. It should be functional. Let's see if I can, oh, oh, I didn't even realize we have to clean like tire marks too. Oh, that's cool. Don't move any furniture too far and don't wake up the, don't wake up the sleeping human. All right, am I gonna be able to navigate over here without moving this? Okay, that wasn't really too much of an issue. This is interesting. I definitely could have built this thing smaller. Come on. There we go, that wasn't an issue. I wonder how waking up the sleeping human works. Maybe if I accidentally touch the bed, it'll wake him up. All right, there we go. As long as the, oh. All right, apparently I gotta build more than a Roomba for this map. There's dust everywhere. Oh no. Oh, this is way more, there's dust on top of these. What, do I have to straighten the painting too? I bet that's a side quest. One of those secrets is probably to straighten the painting. Oh, this is way more complicated than I thought it was. All right, I'm gonna need this Roomba to have a telescoping vacuum to vacuum up some of these things, but I gotta be careful with the vacuum. Ooh, ooh, there's a secret. There's a secret over here. Hold on. All right, what's this secret say? Clean the pair of shoes. Where are the pair of shoes? Are these the shoes? Oh, these. How do I clean these? Will a vacuum do it? No, a vacuum's gonna suck in the shoes. You know what? I don't need an extendable vacuum. I need an extendable bristle. That's what this is requiring. Okay, there's like, there should be five hidden secrets on each map, I'm pretty sure. And I only found that one so far. Oh, I see one by the computer over here. Oh, I just cleaned that floor. All right, what does this one say? Clean all the dust in the unused break room. There's a break room over there. How do I get into the break room? Clean up all of the dust in the bedroom. All right, that's a separate thing than this. There must be, can I go through here? No, that's like a, it's a window. There must be an alternate pathway. Oh, there is a door there. I gotta move these boxes out of the way. How heavy are these boxes? Oh, they're super light. Oh, and the doors open when you push them. Okay. All right, that's something. All right, all right. We got a lot more work to do on this thing. Like, a lot more work to do. Yeah, that way I can, I can just move around much faster like this. That's good. I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller by getting rid of these. These are pointless. They aren't doing anything for... Oh, they're holding my wheels up. Okay. But you know what? That's fine. I can just move these wheels in by a block and reattach them. R. F. Cool. And it automatically just stops at 90 degrees and it stops when it gets uh, horizontal. So vertical, horizontal, and I can change it anywhere in between. This is really easy. All right, so now we, we gotta make the telescoping bristle. All right, when I press one, it'll contract. When I press two, it'll extend. Let's test that. Ho! All right, move it up. Telescope. That is so much reach. That should be good enough, right? All right, now I got to attach a working set of bristles to this thing. Ooh, I can make a pocket here for the bristles. Oh, <gasps> this could be cool. All right, so we want a DC motor here and then attach bristles to the rod. Those won't interfere with anything, right? Oh, that is kind of high though. Is that going to be too high to fit under the bed? All right, hold on. I got better idea. All right, there we go. I built it so it goes inside of our own uh, vehicle. So I should be able to lift this up and then extend it out. All right, I think we're all set for this now. I feel happy with my Roomba. Can I fit under these chairs now? Why am I trying this right now? Oh no, my piston can't. Okay, well that's fine. We don't need to. All right, there we go. Got those, got that. I think I can do the... Okay, that was actually kind of close. Right, let's be really careful with this. There we go. I should have just put uh, bristles all around me. But let me see if I can fit under the bed. The bed looks like it might be slightly higher than the uh, the cabinet in front of it. All right, there we go. 
That felt pretty safe. What else is there here? All right, I gotta be able to get these. That's no problem. This should be no problem. So I just gotta get 50 things total. I don't have to clean up everything necessarily, but there are some things that are specific. And I'm curious, what uh, what wakes the human? I don't know what qualifies as waking the human. Like, do I just not touch the human? Is that all it needs to not be woken up? There we go, no problem. It seems really easy to not wake the human. What would possibly wake the human up? Is there stuff in there? No, I think we're all good. And right, let's get this, let's get this stuff. Oh, we got tire marks and everything. Wait, can I pick up a sock? Did I pick it up? No, it's still there. All right, let's get this one now. There we go, easy. I'm good. Get this one. Nice. Oh, those ones on top of the shelf might actually be a lot harder than I thought. I don't, like, do I have to hook over it? I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Wait, that's as far as it extends. All right, there's one. Oh, I can't. Wait, there's that one. Can I not get that one? Yes. Oh, I got it. Thank you. Wait, it, it says up there. It says up there. What does it say? Put four dirty socks into the laundry bin. What? <laughs> now you tell me? This thing cannot do that. That one was to clean all the dust in the break room. All right, you know what? Let's do. Let's concentrate on some of the other stuff first. I think I could adapt my uh, my extender cleaner. I think I could adapt that to also be able to pick up socks. I'm getting. I'm just trying to think of my buttons. All right, there we go. That one's easy. Let's get the one up top now. There we go. Let's get this one. This is a pretty nice arm, isn't it? Pretty pretty versatile. Oh yeah, the shoes. Let's go clean these shoes. All right, bring this down, extend it forward. There we go. Yeah, that one's good. Hey, that was a pretty good one. All right, now we gotta get this dust up in this plant. Give me my view. There's that one. Oh boy. Can I break a vase? I could probably break this vase if I wasn't too careful. All right, what about this thing? There we go. As far as this room go, I'm at 49 out of 50. What am I missing in the room here? I wanna see if I can move this painting or fix this painting. That's the wrong way. Oh, let me turn the thing off. I don't want it to have that rotation on. All right, now, there we go. Just straightening up, straightening it up in here a little bit. Come on. I did it, fix the crooked painting. I knew that had to be one. It's still a little crooked, but I guess it's good enough for the challenge. Ah, but what's missing as far as the cleaning goes? Oh, it's right there in front of me. Of course, you guys probably saw that this whole time we're yelling at your screens. There we go. I cleaned up all the dust in the bedroom, but I'm not done yet. Cause I need, I need to get to the, uh, to the break room. All right. Oh, that was so easy. All right, excuse me. Is this all of the dust in the break room? This is break room is a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be. Nine, 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 nine days left since, or since last accident? Nah, I don't know if I believe that. There we go, turning's a little awkward on this. How much dust is in the, uh, in the break room? I don't think any of this furniture actually counts, to be honest. I could probably just do whatever I wanted in here and not have to worry about it. All right. There we go. Clean all of the dust in the unused break room. So there should be two more secrets left. One of them is to do the socks. They don't have to all be done in one go. Um, but what's the other secret then? Is it in the break room? Wait, this plant looks kind of dirty. Let me see what I can do about this. Does this make any sense? It needs water. It doesn't need <laughs> dusting. All right, I'm doing something fancy. So you may notice that my dusters have a little bit of something on the side here. So when I press number three, it'll actually turn like that so I can then grab whatever's on the ground and lift it up and drop it anywhere I want to. And that is how we are gonna take care of the socks. There we go. Wait, wait, the socks don't get lifted? Okay, I think maybe, maybe a vacuum will work. All right, so now when I press the button, it rotates 180 degrees and hopefully, hopefully this works with vacuums. Wait, 
where the sock go? <laughs> Can I air flip airflow direction? Oh, <gasps> that is so cool. I had no idea that was going to happen. That is awesome. All right, where are the other ones? Where are the other socks? Here's a sock. All right. Sock that one up. All right, now I need two more socks. There we go. And then final one. That is so awesome that you can vacuum up the socks. Extend it over here. And then reverse the flow. Ah, uh, wait, what ha- Uh-oh. Oh, I think I can only hold one at a time. All right, there's one. Get out of here. All right, there's one. Now reverse flow. There's that one. Oh no, did I just override the sock? Okay, no, there's the sock still. Come back, sock. Ah, no! <laughs> I am, this is chaos. All right, get out. All right, there's two. There's another one. Come on, I know you're in there. There we are. All right, number four. Oh no, I just sucked up all the socks. I thought I had the other direction on. I think I just ruined it. There's one. Oh, oh no, both of them came out that time. I don't know what happened the last time when I had all four of them. Put 40 socks in the dirty laundry bin. All right, we did it. But I still don't have any confirmation about what that last, uh, the fifth challenge is. I'm assuming it is to clean up everything out here or clean up 100% of everything, maybe. I don't know. And let me look around here. Oh, here it is. It's underneath uh, the pants or something. All right, what do you say? Provide a complete and undamaged breakfast in bed? The only thing I can possibly think that that is in reference to is uh, there's this cart right here. Do I've gotta, do I gotta put the whole tray on the bed? I'm assuming that I have to put the tray on the bed without damaging it. All right, but one of the challenges was to not wake the human. And uh, I wanna see what happens when I wake the human. I'm just, just giving you a nice clean, just a nice, am I, am I even touching? I think it's like the perfect angle. All right, hold on, if I extend more. <laughs> How are you not awake? I can't <laughs> This doesn't make any sense. I thought it would be way easier to wake the human. All right, let's just extend this more so I can get a better angle here. All right. Oh, there we go. That was, it's hard not to, it's just hard to wake the human, period. And I don't think, I'm sorry, that does not, I think I did a little bit more damage than I intended on doing here. What if I lift up right now? Oh, my motor's not even strong enough. All right, come back. Come back. I'm sorry, human. I'm really not. I meant to do that entirely. All right, let me try to modify this thing to be able to deliver this tray of food now. All right, I know this is a terrible idea, but I've put these pincers on just free rotation uh, rods, which I know is going to make it so that the uh, this, this, is, this tray is going to swing all over the place, especially with how fast my acceleration is, but... I just want to see how this functions. I want to see how heavy this tray is, if I can even hold it up. Contract a little bit. All right, is that good? Got it. Now lift slowly. Uh-oh. Okay, you know what? We got it. Let's just, just do, let's just do this for now. It's going to support the tray for now. Uh... Oh, no, this is terrible. This is so terrible. All right. Oh! I can't even... I'm not strong enough to lift this tray up. Oh, I can't change the torque of this motor. All right, I think I gotta just build a whole new mechanism to deliver this food. All right, new set of controls now. I can do this, can do this. Can do this. Should be much stronger and better equipped for a tray. So let's see how it works. I'm all. I also made myself much slower. I am very like. I don't have any suspension or anything, so I'm very rigid and bouncy. But we'll see how it goes. Go up. All right. You know what? 
It's so bouncy. Oh, why is it so bouncy? Stay on. Stay up. Ah. Oh. Yeah, nothing here has suspension. If I go into mechanical, all this stuff is locked. Oh. Well, maybe there's something with my wheel settings that I can make a little bit better. I'm gonna make myself just go slower. All right, at this speed, I should be able to do it. I hope that's perfect. All right, go up. Bring it in. That's good. It's good that the, uh, the cup is actually against my piston. Oh, I don't like, I don't like how that turns. All right, when we're going straight, it's fine. It's just the turning in place is difficult. Yeah, turning while moving is good. Okay. All right, I think I got this. Turning is still actually really sketchy. All right, you know what? I got to turn less. I just got to, I got to wait, and then I just got to do one turn, I hope. Okay, here we go. It's okay. Everything's slowly making its way towards the back of the tray. I don't like this. Okay. I need to, I need to deliver a complete pre- ah! <sighs> I need to deliver a complete breakfast in bed, is what I was saying. Oh no, this turn is not gonna be good. Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? All right, down. Did I do it? Provide a complete and undamaged breakfast in bed. There it is. I've done it. Full service Roomba at your service. There we go. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. All secrets unlocked. That only took me two hours to do all those challenges. So I have 23 bits right now, and if I get 27 bits, we unlock gears. And what else? What? Dance, dance, robot revolution? We gotta build a dancing robot or something? What is this stuff? I think these ones are actually ones that were in the beta that I played a long, long time ago. I'm not completely sure, but um, these ones are definitely new down here. So if you guys are enjoying this game and you want to see more, let me know down in the comments below. If you missed the previous video, you can go ahead and check that out right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrabman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.